these electric uh, manufacturers are getting more and more worried about what they look like. This is Italian design. People will come up on it and think it's a new Honda, a new BMW, not even realize it's all electric. This is the first mass-produced all-electric highway legal motorcycle in the United States. This is about 12,000 bucks. This is freeway speed, uh, just shy of 70 miles an hour and can do so for up to 40 miles. This one happens to have the 220 on it. It goes 110 or 220, but if you put it on the 220 like a dryer outlet, it charges in less than an hour. And this one leaves lights on when it's charging and you'll hear a fan going and that's it. And then when it's done, the lights go off and you can unplug it and go. And it has a fuel gauge that lets you know if you're empty or low, just like it was gas. So there's hardly any learning curve. And then when you're too lazy, it has a reverse. I weigh over 200 pounds, and this thing just gets up and goes. If you want more torque, if you want quicker response, you can do it all with a laptop by changing the parameters on the controller. Most of the so-called tuners for electric cars are computer geeks. But people always wonder why there's not any noise. Some even want you to add a thing as you step on the throttle to make it sound like a Harley. They're not used to having a motorcycle without any noise.